Hey everybody. Okay, I'm gonna take a real quick look at the Helix native software from Line 6 because if there's one thing that you guys keep asking me over and over again, it's what do you think about the Helix? Well, since I don't have 1500 bucks to throw away on a, well, maybe this is okay purchase, and Line 6 sure as hell wasn't gonna send me one after I told the world what I really thought about the Line 6 Spider Mark V. A Helix review has been on hold indefinitely. That was until my good friend Lee Daffern from the fretboard.co.uk messaged me freaking out about the Helix native software. I had the extreme pleasure of hanging out with Lee last year during a fan meetup at the Princess Louise in London. And when it comes to guitar, I really do respect his opinion. So after hearing about how great it was, I figured, okay, what the hell, let's give it a shot. There's a 15 day free trial and that is more than enough time to give it a fair shake. So basically it looks like it's designed to compete with the Axe FX, the Camper, the Head Rush and Bias. It's got all the usual suspects, distortion, overdrive, EQ, delay, uh, reverb, chorus, you name it. Now I've never had an issue with Line 6 when it comes to their guitar effects because I've always considered those to be at least half decent if not pretty damn good. To me though, the only thing I really give a shit about are the amp sims. And that's because I'm a recording guy who already has an armload of effects. What I want to know is how well does this thing do metal tones? Because that's where Line 6 has let me down oh so many times over the years. Now there's a huge selection of modeled amps to choose from, including their take on the Rectifier, the 5150, there's Marshall. Bogner, Angle, Soldano, and many more. And there are an equally large number of cabinets to choose from with a multitude of microphones and sliders to tweak. And the cabinet sims aren't half bad. They're certainly a huge step up from what the Spider Mark V has to offer. And yes, for those of you wondering just what the hell that is on the wall behind me, yes, that is what's left of the Spider Mark V after my review. Now, what I like about the Helix is the fact that you can immediately switch to a custom impulse response. And what's more is that you can drop in a huge list of them and then use a slider control to quickly browse through them. Most IR loaders I've used have some sort of drop down menu and I gotta give Line 6 credit here. This slider works very well and it just lets you make your adjustments with your ears because it only goes by number and not name. That's awesome. And while the included cabs aren't bad, I do prefer my Rosen Digital Impulses. The fact that the interface just gets the hell out of the way and lets me work with them is a huge plus. You can also split your signal for multiple cabinets and it gives you easy access to the blending controls. Very cool. You can even run a second amp and blend that. That's really cool too. Okay, so that's the features, but let's cut the crap, shall we? What does this thing sound like? Well, I had Lee play a couple of clips for me. Here's the clean. And here's a lead break. Okay, not too bad at all. But how does it sound on a heavy mix? Well, I just happen to have the tracks on hand from the Spider Mic 5 demo, and I thought it would be cool to do a direct comparison. Helix Native versus the best I could wrangle out of the Spider Mic 5. Let's check it out.
Okay, that is definitely a gigantic improvement. Granted, I was using the Rosen Digital Impulses with the Helix software versus the onboard Spider Sound. But then again, it's so freaking easy to load custom impulses into the Helix, why wouldn't I do it? I want to use the Helix to its maximum potential like I would in a normal session. So bottom line, I think Line 6 has finally created a decent amp sim. The customizability and the interface's ease of use are a great value, but the amp modeling is on a different level than anything else they've ever offered. For what it's worth, Lee wound up buying the Helix LT to use at gigs and sold off half his pedals. But is it as good as a Kemper? Or an Axe Effects? Ultimately, you're going to have to decide that for yourself. I'd suggest downloading the demo and seeing what you can do with it. Take it easy.